Hey, this is Toe 2 Bravo, and we're out at the range again today. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this AR right here with the Mission First Tactical Vertical Grip. Uh, see if this is the positioning I want. So we're going to go through a couple drills, time drills. We're going to uh, do three sets, or I'm sorry, we're going to do three shot sets uh, utilizing the timer uh, from a fixed position, and then we're going to move to uh, a primary position, shoot three rounds, move forward three rounds in a secondary position, stop, and then we'll look at the time. And what I want to achieve today is um, you know, obviously familiarization, it's more familiarization with the AR, and uh, see if I in fact like the, the vertical grip, because I run a lot of angle grips, not a lot of vertical grips. So I want to see if I like the vertical grip, number one, and number two, I want to see if the positioning is where I really want it. So I need to move it forward or, or maybe even a little more rearward. So we'll see at the end of the, uh, at the, end of the uh, video what my feelings are there. I'm also, uh, with the Vortex Spark 2, I'm going to run my MBUS up, but I'm going to run it with the larger sight window open, and I think that helps stabilize the, uh, the red dot in there for me. If I use it with the MBUS down, I get a little bit of a drift on the red dot, so I have found that if I use it like that with the larger aperture, that the red dot stays in more of a centered position for me might be just a, a thing for me but I know that this helps me out a lot and actually uh, if the red dot should die I'm already set up for uh, backup sight usage so that's what we're going to do with this rifle here and we're going to compare it against my favorite AR which I've put the minimalist stock on so it's not just a competition between the two ARs but I also want to see how I feel about this stock here because uh, if you keep in mind, I did take off the Mission First Tactical Utility stock and replaced it with this one. So I want to see that, uh, I want to see, number one, I want to compare the weight, the difference, bring it up from the uh, below ready to shouldering it, and uh, see what kind of purchase I get, especially against my, my plate here. So that's what our intent is for today. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to shooting. All right, for time, Mission First Tactical. Point nine zero. All right. Let's try this one. Here we go. One point nine zero is the time to beat. One point five six. Let's try that again. One point six three. One point six three. Let's give it a shot. One point five three. One point five three. One point four two. Eight point six two with the reload. One point seven one. One point five seven. Point 
5.07 10 10.34 we put some extra rounds down range on that one Five point seven four. Four point nine eight. Point three one. Weapon clear. All right. Well, we uh, we had a pretty good day here at the range. We had some pretty good times with this AR here. Uh, I want to say that I'm equally comfortable with both. I do think that I might be leaning towards this vertical grip. Um, I'm gonna have to shoot it a little more. I do like it a lot, and I really like the positioning of it. I like to bring it up, and then I can push this in to get a good purchase on the weapon, but it also helps bring it back into my shoulder pocket, and uh, sometimes I would catch myself here in the magazine well, but uh, I think this will alleviate that, and uh, it just feels really good. So after shooting this today, um, I like the positioning. I don't think I'm going to change it. I'm going to keep it here for a little while, do a couple more range visits. And I'm telling you, for me, and if, you're, if you have a Vortex Spark, and sometimes you, when you're using it and you're bringing it up and you're getting your, your sight picture and you feel like that dot's drifting a little bit, maybe you might want to try taking your MBUS, using the larger aperture, and using that to bring up. And it kind of stabilizes the dot, keeps it from drifting left or right. Might be just a thing for me. I don't know, but it works. And... Uh, I like it and I'm going to keep it like that. So, this is Toto 2 Bravo. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you didn't, the comments will reflect. And uh, that's pretty much it until I see you out at the range again. Thanks for watching.